drafted. And as you rightly said, their mid game just feels so powerful that uh, I'm curious as to how XL are going to play. When we think about late game, I think of Gwen on the side lane, who can really deal with her. I think about Ezreal and his range, and but to recognize that damage output and the overheat from Oscar Rinnan was so high. Caught him completely off guard, forced to flash early, but now Peach on the bot side. Oh, and if it flashes forward for the root, Noah does have the heal in the flash, not back from Peach. They look for Noah first, and first blood to XL. Trimby flashes out of the range of the dredge line. There's no cleanse on Noah, and he's playing against Sejuani Braum, so the second any of the passives land, if the Varus flashes, it's four stacks, so three stacks on him, one more auto, it procs from either Sejuani or Nort. No cleanse, but no, it's humanoid. Why is the, the way the chain connects still, and humanoid will fall. The ethereal chains enough from Abadaga to get XL their second kill of the game. Very, very clean there from humanoid. Uh, from Abadaga, sorry, waiting for the a gank in top lane. Oscar Rinnan, no flash room. It does have the equalizer in five seconds. He's dead, isn't he? I think he might be. The needle works come out, and usually needles are curative, but here they're causing more harm than anything else. Oscar Rinnan used the equalizer on the wave to make sure he's not going to lose any plates off this. TP now invested down towards the bottom lane. Limit lands the hook. No one under tower yet as Razzle for the first attack. It's subjugate coming out as well. The chain of corruption is going to hit on Padre with the dodges away from the side of it. Limit's already down. Abadage now coming in to join the fight, but it's 2v4 once again. Abadage dashes in. No spells really left The Trimby flashes forward. No one under tanking the tower yet. But Padre is one. And Abadage is going to answer with two. Padre falls. Abadage looking for another as he gets his second. The hero chain is going to land on Razzle now. And it's a disaster for Fnatic. And absolute elation for Excel in the bottom lane. That is an at 11 to allow Abadagi to get that roam, the static shiv damage hitting onto all four members just beautifully played from XL. Now they have a two and a half K gold lead 12 minutes in. Oscar no flash still, I think. That could be a kill for Peach. And Glacial Prison comes in. Might try and give this to Odo. Can't quite do it. The flail comes forth. And Dragon let them have soul point, but I'll wait to see what Oscar does because I feel like Fnatic really want to fight this with the items they have. It's a bit risky. Each on the front line there. The hook. Unbreakable eats up the true shot barrage. Step charge on the back line. Limit very low already. But Abadage trying to get the damage down on the back of the fight. Now Patrick's actually across the wall. Already one down as Trimby falls. Razork short to follow with the subjugate and the chomp. Heal him up just enough. Oscar in no left to the wolves. That's XL descent. Wow. Another one sided team fight coming out from XL as they find two kills and push Fnatic back. But we'll elementary, see. my dear. Hey, Abadaga oh. falls for it. Abadaga just kills to humanoid. humanoid. Chain's gonna connect, not quite enough damage to kill off humanoid. Four members of Fnatic appear oh, from no. the bush. The true shot barrage eaten by the unbreakable, but Abadaga looking for a little bit more as Peach goes in, Glacier Prison hits onto Razork, and now Fnatic trying to retreat, trying to find some semblance of safety here, but really, XL are just shooting them like fish in the barrel. The tower holds the line for Fnatic for now, but it was they who were looking for the fight in XL who bit off their hand so at the can turn their attentions over they, to the dragon. They still kind of have to fight. No yeah. brown molds. That kind of sucks for Fnatic, but at least hope for a steal from Razor. One or two kills would be great. Yeah. Then. Flash Tibbers. Stopwatch coming out from the as He tries to survive. Piping now up towards the top side. And Yuno's already down and Abadag is dashing in. And Fnatic walks straight into their deaths and early grave for them as Razor tries to get away, but he's shut out. Managed to pick up a double kill, but for it, he loses his life and the mountain soul. And he loses three more members of Fnatic as well. Only Oscar lives and lives to tell the tale. I think XL should easily be able to pick up this dragon. You can see it on screen, and they'll move towards the Baron as well shortly afterwards. 15 seconds on Humanoid. They could play it through this entire game, not even taking down a tower, not taking any of the neutral objectives. XL have had total control, and a lot of it has been off the back of Peach just constantly being in the enemy jungle, and he's doing it once again. It's a 4v3 right now in favor of Fnatic, and Limit will fall first. The Timber's coming down, and Patrick's gonna have to deal with that. Peach perhaps a little over eager, but Abadage now on the flank, looking for the damage. Dashes back onto Noah, who's down to 300 HP, and somehow manages to survive. A good equalizer position, but no damage to back it up. It feels from Oscar winning. Patrick flashing forward, and all of Fnatic turn immediately onto him. And Patrick went a little bit too deep there for XL. Abadage now trying to rescue the situation, salvage something from this fight that Peach elected to take, and Odo's there to join him. They find another, and now Fnatic have to back away towards their inhibitor. A bit of an overextension there from XL. They're able to make it work. They find two for two, but trying to force these fights. Which means that the situation doesn't improve for Fnatic. If they could get that rumble in earlier, that would have been great for them. But Razor's trying to stop this Baron from going down. And he's going to have to try and stop his health bar from blinking so rapidly. He manages to get the subjugate off the ignite. Not quite going to be enough damage. Now XL turn their attentions over to Trimby. The true shot barrage, the true shot barrage. Oh, not quite lines up, but no one feels the bad end of it as he falls. Odo now chasing Humanoid back, will stun him up. Razzle's gonna join the party here, Subjugate's back in. 
Limit looking for the hex slash hook across the wall here as Oscar in enjoys the fight. The glacial prism hits onto Humano, doesn't need the tower, he will fall. The Razor next up on the menu for XL. If they can keep chomping through Fnatic, maybe they can chomp through the rest of this Trundle's health bar. They'll take him, but Arge goes legendary, and Fnatic forced to run away. Fnatic just don't have the damage to answer back in return for these kills. Everyone from XL escapes. Oh, reaction and there from Noah gets him to safety. But now the siege will begin from XL. From no. Fnatic. Flash, Tibbers only onto the two tanks though. Limit is low, concussive blows not quite blocked on him as Peach is now the front line. The equalizer coming in across the wall as Limit tries to get away, hooks himself back in. And Abanage fights the perfect flank. Oh god. He distorts them out of existence and now Noah will join him. Quadra Limit in the grave. A quadra for Abanage to wrap it up as XL make quick work of Fnatic. 13 0 6 this LeBlanc. Abanage single handedly just one shot four members of Fnatic. In a couple of spells, that's going to be banned for the next game. Maybe Fnatic want to go blue side and Humanoid can show them how it's done as well with the LeBlanc. But yeah, Badaga's LeBlanc so far in these uh, in these playoffs has been exceptional. And I'll hold my breath for now when it comes to Fnatic. I mean, we saw a similar thing happen with G2. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm a bit worried, uh, but I said this last game. I said yep. Fnatic's draft last game was pretty good, but then the LeBlanc just solo-handedly took over the game. So let's see what happens in the main phase. I think that was sent a message. Yeah. The message was, <laughs> so I have no flash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear Humanoid, uh, my flash ceases to be. And Razzle, he's looking for a little Whoa, bit more. Ash Rukul, like Humanoid's going to get that game close in as Peach trying to get away. Ooh. Doesn't have the flash, not back. As Razor takes the kill, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. now the trigger seed coming out from Humanoid Zono, tracing the top lane with Oscar winning, but is able to jump across the wall. Odo continues to put the damage down on the Orn. Big kill over to Fnatic in this early game. Nice first blood. Oscar might have the flash, unless he gets yeah, the pace going with the Ivan. He's got to get his slash earlier as well. Razor counter jungles oh, Peach. a lot of the top side. Now Peach may be in some danger, does have the flash, of course. Have to use it to escape this. Yep, does he? Hello's Beth coming does. out, Peach trying to turn it in. Odo Omni pushes the wave in and flashes forward. Oscar Winning flashes away, Peach still chasing. The Bramble Smash oh, the shield. the trigger the shield. Odo Omni able to trade back onto Razzle though, and in the end, oh, Peach in the mid lane. A move from the XL bot lane just gets them another kill, and after a bad start for XL, they're now in the this lane right now. The question is whether he can then migrate that to the rest of the map later on, because right now, Seems like we'll have a fight around the dragon. Peach is level five, Razor's level six. I think they're just gonna have to give her XL kind of leashing it. Does Next flash limit? Oh, limit, limit, limit. You meant to do the combo WQ, not just the W. As Trimby is able to get away. What is going on right now? Okay, uh, Humanoid and Razor stayed on the dragon, so they will secure that objective. Draw eyes towards the first herald of the game. Maybe they're dive for here, but Alistar level six, nice E away from Noah. A lot of chunk damage. Razorks around. Humanoid has mid push too. They only have Patrick one range now as well. The last Easy. time Fnatic died like this, it went very poorly for them. Limit so low. We're trying to match them. Humanoid coming in with that shot boss. Land acceleration gate. Patrick tanks it. Unbreakable used oh, by Limit. Horror, Patrick it's tanking it. Oh, they kept him alive. No, he's still alive. And he's in. What the? They're still alive. Limit will fall, but Odo TP finds two for XL. Insane play, but the action isn't over yet. Abadage with a good knockback with a buster shot. Odo Omne now coming in from the side as well. Razzle and Humano will be forced away. Meanwhile, consistency of the outplay for Excel that should bring their fans hope. Nature's Grass being used here. There's the equalizer as well into the twisted advance that Humanoid is just locked oh. up. And in a side lane, Humanoid dies. And he flashed as well. Should he be back? Let's track Odo moving where he TPs. Patrick still quite far away. Oh, I was away. There's the Nature's Grass. Odo looking for that equalizer as well. The dragon low and Peach oh, takes it. It's a heist from XL as they look for more. Trimby burning, tries to flash away, but can't escape. Abadage now on the reset oh, as Peach flash twisted advance. Razzle might die to the explosive charge. He does. And it's Hops giving a jump for XL into the lead. Wow, another team fight victory for XL. Limit's gonna hex flash. People being caught out of position on rotations. They can look for that once again, but it feels like perhaps that's all they can really look for. Oscar in it, put calls down the ball. The Ram, in fact, and dies for it. But now Humanoid looking to collapse Patrick here as well, and Humanoid might have just gone into his demise. Clears out the wave, Odo tanks now, Limit will do so, the knockback on Limit is good, Humanoid flashes away, trying to trade onto Odo Omni, and that's perfectly played from Humanoid as he finds the shutdown. That really was perfectly played, weaving in and out of spells. They have flash combo on Anastar, no flash on Jace. 
Fnatic are getting wiped, I feel like, if they walk in here unless they find a pick Azul. first. Looking for Patrick, no clip. Q's not gonna land. There's Yornal, though. Patrick will flash this. Takes a bit of damage with that accelerated shock blast. Nature's Glass now coming in from Peach as they look for the chase. Only landing onto one. The equalizer not perfectly placed, but Limit lands. A double man knock up, and now Patrick has the time to open up alongside the target. The base call coming in, and the knock up straight down. And Fnatic go down into the grave. Excel get four and lose nothing for it. Excel just continue to dominate in the team fights. Fnatic, they that at AD carry a little bit tentatively as Fnatic now start to wander into the jungle. Oh, no one knocked up. Call of the Forge God coming out. Noah will use the dash away. Patrick will be able to walk away from that Call of the Forge God. The route only landing onto one. Twisted advance forward as XL look for the fight. It's only onto the tank, but Fnatic have to abandon him, and the damage is ticking on him. Limit thrown in. And another kill over as Odo Amre now needs to try and escape, doesn't have the flash, but he turns back around with the flames and he spits fire onto Fnatic. Trimby falls and now Abadage is feeling himself as he dashes forward. XL find three. Importantly, they kill off the jungler, but the poke is still alive for Fnatic. How much can they get done? Oh, not too much now. Is good. Shot blast is good. Patrick has the red buff. And a little bit of life steal. This Baron could be a startup here, but Oscar has TP in 10. They need to get this down it's quick. Risky, What's Abadaga doing? I think he's trying to get the plant, so they're actually going to go for this. This is very risky. Abadaga might have to jump backwards here, so he's going to be completely zoned away. Maybe he's going to die. Oh, the shot was so cl close. I mean, Humanoid should be able to kill him off. Flashes forward. Oh, oh Buster shot enough to keep Abadaga alive. The rest of XL now on that Baron. Patrick has a honey food to eat limit. Look for the suns across the wall. The sapling's helping out. Okay, as well as Odo TP's in. Nature's Glass has been popped. Humanoid forced away. Odo joins the fight as he secures the Baron alongside Peach. Humanoid's gonna try and back away. Limit knocks him up. The equalizer comes down and Humanoid falls once again. Excel with its clean and it is matched by continued pressure. Fnatic won't be able to actually make any of that damage stick. Maybe looking for an engage here. Equalizer going on to Razzle. He's got no flash. Remember in the tree. Belled. Oscar winning the next target for XL as they look to just pick up two. The rest of Fnatic are able to escape, but XL might not be done yet. They're looking at least for the inhibitor. And they push for an end. Ezra Wolf is down for a little while. Should get it back up if he can stack that passive and get the cooldown down. Midwave's coming through. They could try and end on it, but they're lacking a couple of ultimates. Maybe they're going to look for a botanip as the wave is around Fnatic, but then Limit, of course, brought to safety. That was not the replay they wanted to show. But the Baron is now a good. Flash, yeah, that's, you know? that's why he lost his flash. And there's the Baron for XL. And I, I will say, like, looking at the XL G2 series, looking at Fnatic versus Heretics, and now XL versus Her uh, Fnatic, if this is a clean 3 0, I feel like it's XL and G2 that are on another level. I'd agree with you, XL obviously still have to close this one out, and they're looking to do that as they go in once again. Oscar in and burned by the flames of Odo Omne. Limit chucked into the middle of the team as well as Trimby falls low. He flashes Over. away, but already Humanoid's dead. And it is over, says Kadrill, and XL seem to agree. They tank the towers a little bit too long there. And they still have the band up for two minutes, and they are looking for these Nexus towers. Fnatic still have nowhere to defend, but Limit's trying to end that streak right now. The Nexus towers will begin to fall. XL will take them, and they will be one game away from the finals. And locking themselves in the season finals. Let's not forget, if they were to lose this best of five, they're out for the rest of the year. So such an important series for them. And they look cool, calm, and collected underneath this pressure, making sure that everyone's on the same page. We actually favored Fnatic in the last... We'll see. I think uh, a lot of magic with this will come through from Fnatic. Things like Banshees, Moors, Wits Ends, perhaps, uh, easily built up. But uh, on the other side, Fnatic do have quite a lot of magic damage as well. I think Abyssal Mask will be side to catch. As you say, that he's just going to take a recall. Let's see what uh, Noah does. Looks like he's kind of holding at the moment. So when the dragon goes down, maybe he'll shove it in. Buffs early on, but all in all, he'll probably take the dragon over a red. Razzle, though, could look for more. No to arm there. Call of the Forge God coming out from Oscar Winnin. Gets hit. Dead. Flashes away. Could just be dead here. Equalizer coming down. Oscar Winning tank the tower. Oh, no, they pulling over first blood. Over to Banana. Nice play there from the Fnatic top jungle. I thought that he would flash away from the run. Glacial Prism was used there in the top lane. He Looks like Oscar it. and flashed away yeah. from it. Peach still on the chase. Razzok is waiting just around the wings. Could come across here. Good Bellows Beth to stop the stun. Be Razzok on his way. Meanwhile in the mid lane. Abadage losing to Humanoid. Manages to survive. Ooh. <laughs> Lands a respite just in time. And now Razzok with the red buff has the slow. Peach trying to get away. But Razzok will flash forward and claim Peach's life and the stack. Fnatic, this is the best early game they've had so far in this series already now. Smite, maybe picks one up uncontested as 
Yeah, Trippy's covering Limit. Humanoid, though. Black Humanoid, though. there's the stun. The cleanse coming out from Patrick immediately. Another charm being used by Limit as Patrick flashes forward and Humanoid falls. Meanwhile, Trimby trying to survive, knocked up, but underneath the tower, XL can't go any deeper. A lot committed there, Flash. For the next little while as well. XL might just wait this one out. Glacial Prison goes wide. Humanoid able to dodge it. Doesn't have the stun stacked up yet. We'll get it during the fight. But Abadage claims his life. XL find what they were looking for in the mid lane. Rift Toad coming down as well as Razzlek is joining up with his turret to try and defend. The Rift Toad will be able to get a charge in here. I mean, what can Humanoid even do in this situation, right? Die. He's literally getting dark. Doesn't really change the entirety of the game. So XL maybe thinking of giving up. Bunch might just look for the steal Humanoid's as well. going to show top. Maybe they can take this fight. There's the stun. The Tibbers on to Abadage. Peach trying to get into the pit here. It's already down to 2,000 HP. Abadage is dead. Peach, though, gets the Chemtech Drake. The call of the Forge God coming out. It's Fnatic already lost one in the middle of the, the Dragon Pit. Razzle trying to dodge away. Does still have that Rams, Lamb's Respite. And XL realized maybe they don't want to take this fight anymore. You've already got the Drake. You paid for it with your mid laner's life, and they will just back away. Ultimately, it's a one for one. Abadage loses his life on the side lane, but XL are now one drive okay, Let's see what angle he finds there's here. The there's TP. TP from Abadage. Where's Where the Rumble Lords? Going fanatic. How to TP? Oh, there's Stark. Oscar winning joins the fight. Oda Wamne looking for that equalizer. All of Fnatic oh, no. teaming up. Glacial Prison only hits onto Oscar Winning. Humanoid looking for the sun as Abadage dashes forward. Humanoid still holding onto that Dibbers. Flash onto Abadage. Call of the Forge God coming out as well as the Equalizer. Hits Humanoid and Oscar Winning. Limit and Patrick fighting down towards the bottom side as Humanoid's already fallen. Razork still holding onto that Lamb's Respite. Could buy a second for his team in the right moment. Trimby locks up one. Oh. The shutdown for Noah and Limit will fall as well. Fnatic trying to turn this around as Exile run for the hill. Huge kill onto Patrick there. Is this apparent? No TP on Abadage and he's quite low HP. Odo Amne has a TP coming up soon, but doesn't have the Equalizer. Peach, no Flash, has the Smite. Lamb's Respite available if he does try to go for the Steal, Oscar. And uh, Razor and Fnatic can place that ultimate down to try and disengage any kind of Smite Steal. And Odo can play the Vision game. The Kindred Odo is everything here. Yeah, it is. Jumps in, you just put down that Odo. He's so sure. difficult. Yeah. For that secure from Peach, Fnatic will hold it around 4,000. Peach can jump in. They're gonna get this down quickly though. Abadage's on the way. Peach goes in. Oh, it's taken by what? Trippy! Oh, Razzle holding his own for another game, but somehow Fnatic still find it. Trimby dies for it. Odo Omne on the chase. I think what they did there, Fnatic, was everyone burst at 1.5k. Everyone burst saved at 1,500. But we're not going to oh. see it. Soul right. point. Soul point. Patrick has the flash up. Limit quickness available to him. Peach, Glacial Prison up as well. Odo's TP'd in, has that equalizer. Fnatic now looking to defend. Humanoid, no flash. Razzle going down to half HP. That Lamb's Respite is still a possibility. Oh, Trimby finds a perfect engage on the Patrick. Still have the flash to escape, and now Fnatic found two kills. XL led to wanting in their first neutral objective fighting field. This is looking oddly familiar to yeah. Fnatic XL last year, where XL is up 2 0. Not as many base Game states when you have Warren and you can start building defensive uh -oh, items with ADs. You get the magic resist. Abadaga comes down. Abadaga trying to get away. But where are you going to go? Humanoid hits level 16. No one now on the chase. Abadaga pops the W. Call of the Forge God comes out as well as Abadaga dashes back, but Humanoid. Secures the kill. Abadage caught out in a side lane. Another good. Towards the Baron. Abadage can try and clear. You can hear Trimby saying, Care for Rakan. Well, oh, XL we can hear Trimby. are looking for the Baron right now. Trimby on the front line. They turn their eyes straight towards him. Oh, no. Oh, the Forge got the Magnus Storm, but only hits onto Odo. The equalizer being used as well, but Odo's already fallen on the shutdown. Over to Noah. As XL now looks to disengage. Abadage trying to get in towards the back of the fight. Patrick with a good buster shot gets the knockback limit, dashing away. Towards the top as well. Now, can Peach steal as Abadage continues to chip away? The Lamb's Respite already it? down. Peach looking for the spine. Trimby keeps him at bay. The stun. Walls the the Peach gets in, but not in time. And Fnatic secure the Baron. Oscar Ridden on the chase as Peach will be locked up. It's Fnatic and Razor take the fight. 45 seconds on the spawn. Double TP available. How aggressive do Fnatic want to go? It looks incredibly unlikely. Now, Fnatic to prove all those doubters wrong as they push through the mid lane, of course. For the four oh, the five, the equalizer, the charm, the lamb's respite, though, enough to buy some time for Trimby. And now Limit's in the middle of all of Fnatic. Trimby low, Abadage getting onto Razzle at the backline, but Noah's already killed off one. The team is doing so much work, taking up the tower here as well as Noah is still full HP. But the chain's coming up from Abadage. Noah doing the damage onto Odo Omne, Noah down to half. Abadage continues to dash in. Humanoid falls down to a third of his health bar, but Oscar Renin still so tanky and Fnatic now. On the advance, Abadage continues to poke into Prod, and Patrick almost stunned up there by Trimby, but not quite. 
There's just too much mobility on the side of Fnatic. Pushing in mid, that inhibitor in the top lane, still two and a half minutes before it respawns for XL. Look at Limit, look at Limit, look at Limit, look at Peach on the side, and there's the quickness, there's the charm, there's the stun, and everyone's locked up. Hero pops the up, while Drizzle now here to join his team, the corner of the Porsche Cup being used as Limit for Noah, and Noah flashes in once again. Fnatic, they eat the engage, and then they eat XL alive. Limit to full, the inhibitor short to follow. 30 seconds on the Dragon Respawn. Fnatic needs to be careful not to get too excited, but they might push for the end. Humanoid's basing with TP. Limits down, that's their main form of engage. A lot of ultimates missing, but they have double static shape. These waves can get cleared in an instant. Fnatic needs to be careful not to be too greedy. They have the TP if the wave gets underneath the tower, and it does. There's the TP. Set up the Lamps respite as well. Razzle tanking the tower. Patrick, oh, okay, goes in. Patrick locked up for a second to start the CC onto him to shut down. But now, meanwhile, let's go in and tanking the tower, and the Lamps respite buys enough time for Fnatic to destroy the Nexus Towers and to take us to a game four. Fnatic are not down and out just yet. Some incredible engages from Trimby. Razork and Noah in the last few team fights were unwavering. And they take they have options in the early game. I think the bot lane's gonna struggle in the initial two versus two, but it will get better with time. They have a nice mixed damage portfolio. They have good range, great poke. Maybe looking for a dive. Oh, look at Tremby though, already on his way out of base. Heading as well. towards top lane. Stun, nah, back, Oscar, no flash on him. Remember, the trigger seed coming out as Oscar in it now. Oh. The good snipe from Peach for the root corner. Oscar in it, balls in the top. Cook it together, what'd you get? Camp stolen. Peach spotted Razzle. Things down, Daisy. Beach can flash away here. Razzle looking for the stun. Peach tries to get onto the other side of it. Oscar in it, flashing in, manages to get it with the Counter Strike Peach. Trigger seed, not enough. Fnatic claim back their red buff. Slow them down. They really want to match this. Abadaga's there too. Maybe it's not as free as it looks as he tries to turn. Oh no. No. Misses it as oh. the wallop comes out as well. Counter Strike not able to get the stun. Odo down to 250 HP as Abadaga needs to keep Razzle at bay. Razzle does still have the smite. Needs to get the intel down low enough and will secure the smite. Can I get the Humanoid buff? trying to get towards that eye but has to flash away from the root caller. Razzle could jump back into the pit here but Limit is on a long flank as Patrick's about to join. Level 6 for Patrick means that the base call a possibility. Oscar in and going in with the Counter Strike. The Killer Instinct as well as everyone dies forward. Trimby marks Limit perfectly and takes the kill on Peach. Patrick cleanses away the base call being used as they shove Limit back into the fray, but he's in the midst of five members of Fnatic now. Odo and Abadagi trying to join the fray from the bottom side. They get another kill. Fnatic now corralled in the middle of the river, and Patrick starts to open up with the spears. Can he get enough down? No flash on Humanoid, no jump to him either. Odo flashing forward, and Humanoid will be ripped to pieces. The cleanse away from Noah as he tries to escape, but the chase continues, and the level up from Limit in the middle of the fight means he lands the Magnus Storm, and Noah goes down. It was such a a scrappy and long fight, but in the end, XL goes to charge down there. They'll kill the range creeps as well, so really putting a lot of pressure here on the mid lane as uh, XL is trying to push Double box. Back on Humanoid, he tried to buff the W. He was baiting it out, smarting as Razzle comes in for the fight, as does Oscar in, and the Jax will secure the kill. The Nar back from Odo, he TP'd into the middle of five oh, members of Fnatic, and Odo will fall too. Fnatic by two in the mid lane, as the Dragon is being taken by XL. Can they get there in time? No smites on Razzort. XL can look to finish with Kalista, but can they escape? Where do Trimby go? Trimby. On the flank, Root Caller will lock him up. Oscar Winning doing the same, going a long way around. The Shadowing Strike will get the stun. Trimby knocks Limit out of it, but the Magnus Storm will be enough for the moment. However, the Killer Instinct for the chase. You can follow up the TP in from Abadage. Limit pulled back as in the middle of them all. Peach is going to fall as well. Four kills for the Drake for Banana. And on match point for XL. And with a, you can see he's going to stun up Trimby, then he's going to try to engage on Oscar in, he gets hunted out by Trimby. TV behind Odo, no flash on him, no Mega Knight either, and Odo will fall. Fnatic, seven kills to the side, but mid is more important. It's a 4v4 oh, here. Daisy. It's a 6v4 now. It's a 6v4 now, as Fnatic might have to back. They're going to smite the Daisy and try and get it down. The shield will keep it alive. Herald will crash, but they won't get the Drake tower up. As you say, yeah, won't quite finish it off. Daisy looking for that knockup, can't land it. Daisy Trimby. dies. Flank, though, Oscar flank, flank, flank. Oscar Trimby, Oscar Oscar. Trimby goes in, lands one. The counter strike coming in as well. The Glacial Prison's already used on the beach. He has to flash away. He'll survive. TP now invested. And the Magnus oh, on the is huge. The shuffle as well back from Abadage. The stun onto Humanoid. The Narve into the wall. Oh no, kills Humanoid. Meanwhile, Trimby's looking for the re engages. Patrick dances away. Limit looking for the knockup. The bushes. 
Helping out Fnatic right now as Patrick begins to open up once again. Limit with a good stun. Odo can try and go in. The cleanse away from Patrick. Trippy with a knock up. And Oscar winning with a kill. In the end, it's Fnatic that come out on top in the fight. Oscar. Able to run away right now as Odo looks for more. Trimby doesn't have the mana for the Q W combo. Oscar no. falling low. Peach, the root caller just wide as Odo back. trying to bring some life back into this fight. He's gonna rejoin the fight, Abba Doug. It doesn't. That was a three for one for Fnatic. Yeah. That looked terrible did, yeah. for Fnatic. I mean, Trimby combos onto a realm who gets Kalista ulted instantly. Oh, interrupted on the hex flash there is Trimby as he tries to go over onto Peach. Does you want to have the damage with the reset? The ultimate. That's enough. Buster oh. shot on the trigger. So you Humanoid could have ordered trip autoed and then went for the bus. Bit in trouble now. Doesn't really have a way out. Does Trimby, Trimby. How much mana have you got? He sacrificed 130 himself? for the combo, I believe. He might just use the W on Odo Omne limit. Still looking for the chase. There. Humanoid doesn't have the mana for the W either, and the Shurelius is enough. And Humanoid will fall as he looks for that kill on Peach. XL gets something back. Wow. What a kill. Tower. Fnatic want to defend it. A lot of flashes missing for XL. A bit risky to walk up if I mean, they want it. Fnatic don't have a single Fnatic flash. Either. Trigger if they want it. Vitalism being used, but couldn't jump back by limit. Trimby now low. Oscar winning, looking for that flank once again. Humanoid dashing in. The Emperor's divide. Knock back with a bust. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He managed to get one. Peach with the root corner, though. Is Odo. Oh, no. to open up. Has that Magna and Artemis the wall. The wall of the with the stun. No one's still surviving, but Odo's taken two. And the Magna storm the chase. Excel diving in. And they managed to get Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar. He's to get away from it because Oscar in it. Oh, just slaps him down. Imagine what this man could do if he had a real weapon. Oscar gets a double, only Limit left standing. Four for three, Limit is running for his life as Oscar Renan and Razork try to hunt him down. What? XL now have the opportunity to put Odo down towards the bottom lane, can control more of the map if they want, but he's going to join up with the team as Razork looks for a flank hit. Razork looking for an engage, perhaps. As the Glacial Prism stunned up, jumps in, Prism onto Limit, MEG, he's locked up with the face call, will pull him back. Odo coming in, nowhere near the Magnar, but the Magnar Storm hits two, Razork winning down, Oscar winning able to dodge away. Now what can XL do here? They take two. Will they be greedy? Will they look for more? Will they turn their eyes to the Baron? I think they will jungle down for 30 seconds. It's only 280 carries and a Jax left. Oscar doesn't have the ultimate, so we'll see what they can get done here. It's only Limit that's down, so still a lot of damage available. Odomi still has the Mega Nar, but it's gonna run out in just a sec. Won't be able to use that ultimate. The Baron getting shredded. They have Kalista, they have a Smite. They should be able to secure it. Fnatic need to stop them. Jumps in, Humanoid. Low, the root caller wide. The Baron still aggroed by Patrick. Oscar Rennie, oh. low! Goes godlike as he kills off one, and Odo Omni tries to get one in response. He gets it, goes into the bus, and try to end up. Odo survives, the double kills him off. No one trying to do it again, and he's pulled to pieces by the Spears. Odo Omni completely pops off in the fight. This man refuses to give up this series. What an incredible... Has unbreakable will. Flash is available for Noah and Trimby. Limit has his, Patrick does not have his. Odo. Yeah, he's feeling himself, Odo here. He's oh, going no. in again. Odo goes back in, he gets the kill. Oscar in and pops the counter strike, is next up. Need to decide what they're doing. That's Coming a bad start. They're looking for the Baron now. Mega Nar available for Odo. Excel have 15 kills. Odo has 10 of them and has four assists. Odo. Noah. Noah able to supercharge away. Odo hit with the Glacial Prism. Oscar in and forced down towards the bottom side as Odo goes in for the stun. The stopwatch will buy a second hit for Oscar in with an arm into the wall, into the wall, up into the lockup. It's enough to kill off the Jackson. Oh! It's been stopping Excel. Abba slides in and Excel looks to glide their way to the season final. Four members dead for Fnatic and the Baron is open for XL. What a phenomenal team fight. Fnatic have pushed XL to the brink, but Odo Arne says not today. I've got a the Baron buff rather. Uh, they managed to take that down. It's a siege on top, but Odo Arne. He's in danger here. Noah has all forced to jump out with the E. Redemption. They're chasing this. Bit, Noah has all. Him. Yeah, might be dead. No. Odo will knock him back. There's the wallop as well. Peach trying to get in with the trigger seed. Odo oh. to jump across the wall. Oh. Explosive! Oh. Charge will be enough, but meanwhile in the top lane, Abadage and Patrick pushing in. Yeah, a lot of time was wasted. Odo Amne was able to draw so much attention that Patrick and Abadage can siege onto top Trimby's limit. Now them. trying to offer assistance as the inhibitor drops. TP. Double TP. Double. It's under a tower. No flashes on these carries of XL. Oscar in and going in. The Magnus Storm pulls him back. Oscar. Counter strike not enough to buy enough time. They 
it's cool now as XL can smell blood in the water. They can see the date with destiny in their eyes. Patrick dodging away. Trimby gets a knockback onto limit. Peach and Abadar are now going to join the crew as Humanoid catches the wave importantly and dodges away from the XL engage. Auto has TP in 10. How confident do XL feel? There's one more wave coming in that they can play on if they want to end this game now. Abadaga. Looking to base, but Razor wants to fight. Limit going in, they get the stun onto Razor. Oh, Humanoid now locked up as well. He's dead. And you can hear it in the air. You can feel it in this moment. Excel, not to be denied by Fnatic again, are looking to find those final moments of this game. The Nexus Tower is their target. And Odo it's over. his regards. Excel are going to finals. For the first time in the organization's history, XL will make it to a final. Not only that, they have qualified for the season finals.